Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today, we're going to take a look at a subject for the new guys on the block. We're going to talk about how to start your first army and your first thousand points of your first army in particular. That uh, first initial t tiptoe into uh, Age of Sigmar. And also, you know... Um, also can be useful if for starting subsequent armies as well, just generally starting an army. If you're not going to go like me and buy like 3,000 points right off the gate, um, this video would be for you. So, um, a lot of new players play at the 1,000 point level. And it's not really covered a lot through a lot of YouTube channels or podcasts or anything like that. Generally, we talk about 2,000 point match play. So I wanted to give a little bit of time to the folks that are playing at 1,000 points and need advice there. I see in a lot of Facebook groups, a lot of people asking about, you know, lists at 1,000 points. And there's, unfortunately, my answer way too often is, well, I don't really play 1,000 points, so I can't really tell you. Um, it's generally the smallest size that you're going to see for match play. Um, some people will play like 750 as well, but, uh, a thousand points is typically about as low as you go. Um, it's pretty easy to get to a thousand points without a huge commitment of time or money or energy resources. Um, you know, a start collecting box and a couple of other kits will usually get you to a thousand points. Uh, and there's enough depth to it so that you can learn the basic rules of the game. You can learn how battle plans work. You can learn how your army functions. Um, and also the games go much quicker than a 2000 point game. So you have the advantage of getting through games much more quickly and you know, accumulating more knowledge that way through high repetition. So, you are going to start a 1,000 point army. You're getting there, you uh, decide on what you want, and so here is the basics that you need. You need at least one leader that is, you know, a hero, somebody to be your general, and you need two battle line units. And if you are not sure what a battle line unit is, that is going to be in the last page of your battle tome, uh, in the battlefield roll, or in the notes. It will tell you if it is battle line or if it's battle line if it meets uh, a certain other condition. Uh, it, for a match play game, to the, uh, at 1,000 points, you need two battle line units. And they tend to just be your basic troops. Then after those two requirements, you really just sort of fill up your list with uh, other troops that seem like they're going to be useful or interesting or fun. Um, I, When you're looking at just starting an army, especially for the first time, like going for something that's super competitive is not really necessary. Um, you want to play with things that you like that are going to, you know, really hook you in and get you wanting to play the game more. Um, it, you know, sometimes the quote unquote better ways to play or better ways to build a list are not necessarily as fun. I know that's certainly something that I run into that I, I would rather run lists that are less hard edged that are just more my play style rather than what the most competitive thing necessarily is. So heroes. What are we looking for in our heroes? You know, in general, you want somebody that is going to be effective at leading your army. So usually you want someone with a good command ability, um, something that gives off uh, strong buffs and synergies to other units around it. Um, that can come in a variety of different forms. Uh, and at a thousand points, you definitely have room to run a second or third hero. Um, for this purpose, we'll just say, uh, you know, a second hero. Um, 
you know, commonly you're probably going to want that to be a wizard or a priest or something else that is uh, going to add more synergies to your troops. Um, typically, you don't want to run like combat oriented heroes, especially at a thousand points. Um, Although, you know, if that's what you want to do, it's certainly an option there. It's just not something I would really be advi advising. Um, be mindful, though, of the point costs of your heroes, especially at the 1,000 point level. Uh, you don't want to have your heroes make up too high of a percentage of the points in your list. Uh, because you don't have as much room as you do in 2,000 points. You're not going to get the same kind of level of synergies and overlapping buffs and all of that that you get at 2000 points so just kind of don't aim quite as high as you might in uh you know a 2000 point army you know you don't need to get every buff every synergy all of those things because then you have no units to apply that to um you know I wouldn't, at, you know, 1,000 point list, I'm not sure I would really recommend more than two heroes in most armies or for most people. Uh, three is probably okay sometimes, um, but that's, you know, two heroes is a good start. You have somebody that is good for your general and then somebody that is good for additional support. Battle line. This is an interesting one because... Your, your battle line selections are vastly different between different armies. So, in some armies, virtually everything in the army is battle line. Um, you know, Iron Jaws, for example. Like, it, basically everything is battle line. Uh, Cities of Sigmar just has battle line, like, falling out here, there, and everywhere. Um, other armies you know, have very few battle line choices. Um, I think Ossiarch Bone Reapers only have two. Um, so you have some big differences, and then you have a lot of conditional battle line in a lot of armies that you have to try and work around as well. So you have to think about with your battle line units... You know, what role are they filling in your army? Are they going to be good for offense? Are they going to be good for defense? Are they good at capturing and holding objectives? So that would be like units that are, uh, you know, a greater quantity of models and are decently defensive. And then you have uh, battle line units that I would refer to as the box checkers. Right, you're you're required to take two battle line units. So you take two of the cheapest battle line units that you can just to check those boxes off, and then you build out the rest of your list and sort of like a tax on your list. So your battle line really is the foundation of your army. And you know, it's important to recognize what roles that those units are filling and then when we get into the other units that are going to be in your army that's where you want to fill out the rest of it in the holes that are left after your battle line so it's good to balance out your list um, particularly if you're a new player getting a variety of different units and unit types so that you have um different sorts of things to like learn the rules right you want to learn all of the different aspects of the game so you know having melee troops is good and shooting troops and like fast moving troops various different things things that are really strong on offense things that are really strong on defense um and the other really important thing is being mindful of what your hero choices are and making sure that the units that you select to fill out the rest of your 2,000 points are going to synergize well with those heroes and your other army abilities so that you maximize the amount of power that you have. In general, at 1,000 points, I would say to avoid monsters and other 
uh, large, expensive models. There are some armies where you kind of can't avoid it, and there are some armies where it's totally okay to do it um, because they're just strong options. But in general, as a general rule, um, I would say to avoid monsters, but there certainly are some exceptions. But the caveat that I will add is that rule of cool also always applies. If the thing that caught your eye in an army that's getting you to start collecting it is some awesome monster, then buy that monster and put it on the table and play with it. And have fun. Like, in all seriousness, when you're building your first thousand points, you know, your focus isn't necessarily to be as competitive as you can be. It's to start. It's your starting place. You're learning the game. You're learning a new army. You're dipping your toe in as far as Age of Sigmar goes. So you don't need to necessarily follow everything as like hard and fast rules. And you don't have to really shoot for like the most competitive list possible. You're just playing for fun and you're playing to learn. So that's what I think is really important here. Now, as far as making purchases and getting things started, well, conveniently, Games Workshop has given us a product line called Start Collecting that is a good way to start your army. Typically, they'll have about 500 points worth of models in them. They usually have a hero. They usually have battle line in them somewhere in some form. So they're a really nice way to get started. The Warcry Warband boxes are also some really good deals that are a quick, easy infusion of troops into your army. If you can find, if it happens to be the right time of year or the right army, or it's um, just an old one that's hanging out on your local game store shelves from three years ago, the holiday battle force boxes are also a great deal and they could be, you know, a thousand points or more just in one box. So you could kind of have an army in a box with that to start off at a thousand points. Definitely make sure you're getting the most for your money, especially when you're new at this. You know, it, this can be an expensive hobby, but save the big expenses for later on and, you know, buy things now, learn the game. Things will have some utility for you later and, you know, just uh, get in there, get in, enjoy it, learn the game and uh, don't sweat stuff too much. Um, I wouldn't really advise people to go too hard at a thousand points. You know, people ask for, you know, like, what's like the best list at a thousand points? Well, I, I don't know. Um I'm not sure if there's a big enough data set to even really answer that question effectively. But what we can do is take information that we know and say, you know, what are efficient units? What is interesting? What's fun? What has synergy? And that's a good place to go with your army. So... That is about it for now. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. Hit subscribe for more videos. I'm doing a lot of videos now that are aimed towards newer players especially. So definitely subscribe for more videos for new players. Um, we do have a Patreon if you'd like to support us over there. And I'm on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is down in the description along with a link to our Facebook group where you can come join the conversation, hang out, share memes, uh, ask questions, uh, and generally just kind of have a fun little community. That is it for now, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.